Hi everyone, I'm Zhe Tao. In this video, I will present DiceStar, a formally verified implementation of Dice Measure Boot. Let's start with the problem of establishing chest in a remote device. Consider the following scenario. We are collecting critical data from sensors in the field, and we are sending sensitive data to a machine learning accelerator on the cloud. The question is how do we verify that a device like a sensor or remote server is running the expected code. Measure boot is a solution to this problem, which is to measure the boot sequence and to record the measurements for later testation. Here we use a TPM-based measure boot as an example. With measure boot, loading unexpected code will result in wrong measurement and fails later testation. But when it comes to low-cost devices like IoT devices, traditional measure boot protocols are not applicable. Because they require a dedicated hardware chip like TPM, which is too expensive in terms of cost, power, or real estate. To bring measure boot to IoT devices, the Trusted Computing Group proposed the DICE measure boot, which is a lightweight protocol requiring minimal hardware support. DICE is becoming important, and Microsoft is the main driver. Many TCG members are behind its effort. Also, DICE is a general protocol and works for scenarios like servers. DICE implicitly captures TCB as secrets called CDI derived joint boot. It has a layer structure where each layer extends the TCB by measuring the upper layer and deriving a new CDI. The first two layers, DICE Engine and DICE Layer 0, are the common layers for all DICE devices. They set up the root of the trust. DICE Engine is a minimal code in ROM to derive the first CDI and protect the unique device secret. And DICE Layer 0 derives a lifetime key and generates certificates for later layers. However, DICE implementation is hard to get right because of key derivation, hashes, signatures, and X509 certificates. It is a complex piece of code written in C, a low-level and unsafe language. There are already many vulnerabilities in widely used crypto and X509 code. There are also side channels in TPM-based measure boot. Hence, DICE is hard to get right because of the complex code and libraries. And bugs like memory errors, misuse of secrets, malleability attacks on X509, and side channels may leak secrets, allowing impersonation attacks. But at the same time, patching the first two layers is either impossible or extremely expensive. Because DICE engine is burned into ROM, has immutable, and patching DICE layer 0 changes the lifetime key and certificate. Hence, we need a verified DICE. In this work, we present DICE star, a formally verified implementation of DICE. We formally specify the DICE specification we present a verified DICE engine with a platform agnostic interface. Users can focus on analyzing the platform specific components. We present a verified DICE layer 0, including a verified library for a subset of X509, which can be extended and reused for other applications. We generate a verified C implementation and evaluate it on a microcontroller. It is comparable to a one verified handwritten code in terms of boot time and binary size. Die star code is available at our GitHub repo. The verified properties of die star including functional correctness, which means the secrets, keys, and certificates are derived as per specification, and memory safety, which means die star is free of memory bugs, and confidentiality which means there is no secret leakage where outputs or memories, etc. And sidechain resistance, which means DICE star is free of certain timing and cache-based sidechannels. And X09 certificate generation security, which means there are no malleability attacks. I will briefly introduce the verification toolchain we use. We use F star to implement and verify DICE star. F star is a functional language with effects it has dependent types, 
and semi-automatic proof via SMT solvers. We write specification in pure F-star and write low-level implementation in low-star, which is a shallow embedding of C in F-star. It has a C-like memory model, it is first order, and it has C-compatible types. Finally, we use Kremlin, a low-star to C compiler, to generate C implementation from the low-star implementation. Next, let's look at DiStar engine. DICE engine derives CDI from UDS and the layer 0 binary. We model a platform agnostic interface for UDS in different platforms, which provides the following APIs. The specification on APIs enforces that the DICE engine cannot read UDS after latching UDS, must latch UDS before erasing stack, and must erase stack before returning. Regarding crypto primitives, we reuse Hecko star, a verified cryptographic library in F star. It is memory safe, functionally correct, cryptographically secure, and session resistant. Here is a top level spec of Dice star engine. It only uses stack, as there are no memory leaks or secret leakage through dynamically allocated memory. Its precondition specifies that the access to UDS is enabled at the initial state. And its post condition specifies that at the final state, the access to UDS is disabled and the stack is erased. It returns success if and only if the layer 0 binary is authenticated and the derived CDI is correct. Also, LowStar allows us to specify the following properties about memory that for our heap buffers, which were alive at the initial state and are disjointed with the CDI buffer, are still alive at the final state and are not modified. Regarding side channel resistance, DiceStar follows the secret independent coding discipline by reusing the secret integer model from HeckoStar. HeckoStar defines secrets as abstract constant time integers, which cannot be used as array indexes and cannot be branched on because there are no Boolean comparison operators for them. Now let's look at DiceStar layer 0. It derives the lifetime device ID key from its CDI and the short-term alias key from its CDI and the layer 1 binary. It also generates a CSR for the lifetime device ID key and a certificate for the short-term alias key, both assigned by the lifetime device ID key. We implement and verify an X509 certificate generation library. It provides verified serializer primitives and combinators for most of ASN1 constructs and a fragment of X509 messages. We also reuse crypto primitives for Heiko star for key derivation and signing. The implementation and verification of die star layer 0 is much more complex than die star engine. Hence, we will focus and briefly introduce our X509 certificate generation library here. Full detail can be found in our paper. Regarding the verified X509 certificate generation library, we, we reuse the secure parser and serializer model from LowParse for specification. LowParse is a secure parser library in FSTAR. We verify properties such as our serializers are injective, which means if the serialization of two messages are the same, then the two messages are the same. The X509 certificates are encoded into the ASN1 tag length value format, whereas the length field specifies the size of the value field. For example, if the value is of 1 byte, then the length field is 1. If the value is of 2 bytes, then the length field is 2. However, the length field itself is also variable size. The low-level forward serializer from low parse needs to calculate the size of value field ahead. Hence, it needs multiple passes to serialize an ASN1 message, which is inefficient. We implement a verified low-level backward serializer, which serializes an ASN1 message in one pass, even in the presence of nested TRV messages. The die star implementation has around 25,000 lines of F star code and around 5,000 lines of generated C code. Here is an example of generated C code, which is human readable. 
The code can be found in our GitHub repo. We evaluated the C implementation generated from die star and showed that it is comparable to the unverified handwritten one in terms of both boot time and binary size. To summarize, in this work, we present die star, a formally verified dice implementation. It consists of a verified die star engine with a platform agnostic interface and a verified die star layer zero with a verified X509 certificate generation library. Full detail can be found in our paper and DiceStar code is available at our GitHub repo. Thank you.